The ImageQuant 800 comes equipped with multiple exposure modes for chemiluminescent imaging. In this session, we're going to look at chemiluminescence imaging and how we're going to program that. We go into the mode here and we have four different exposure modes. The first one is auto. So when we use this, we can avoid saturating our image. Uh, there's also an option down here to do a pre-capture. So this is like a semi-auto mode where the camera will actually pause in the middle of taking the image so that we can define a region of interest to actually perform the, uh, the capture on. We have manual mode where we can set the exposure time anywhere from 10 hours to a tenth of a second. And this is if you know something about the blot and what the expected exposure time would be. We have a time series mode where we can stack our frames on top of each other. That would be in cumulative mode. That would be here. If you want to see the individual frames, we're going to disengage that. And then we can see each of those individual frames as they're captured. There's another cool mode here, which is called snow. With snow, we're able to extend a dynamic range by minimizing noise in the system. And this is really a fully automated way of working with the system. If we're in this mode here, we can go to binning. So this is how much our image is binned. And we can alter this to either a higher setting or a lower setting. The recommendation is to the default, but sometimes due to speed or just checking, you might want to use one of the different uh, resolutions versus sensitivity, as you see here. We also have the ability to fluorescently multiplex. So you're doing a chemiluminescent blot. You might want to do um, total protein normalization. So you'd be able to use something like QuickStain, which would be a Sci-5 labeled dye, which you can add onto the total protein. So we'll select that here and go to select our dye. We have a list here of appropriate dyes. We're going to choose Sci-5 for our quick stain here. We're going to use auto exposure here. We'd select that and be able to do a multiplex image. The final thing we can look at here under the advanced settings is select for the capture area. And you can see this is a way to pre-crop our image if we have a smaller sample size than the size of the plate that we've selected. Once you've selected all the settings you want to use, we're going to press the start button here for image capture. 